Hello, all you cool cat and kittens. It's me, Couch Pilot Trevor, back with another Little Cup action. I take on Grant. <laughs> I love that his name in this is Grant instead of Grant. But, you know, I take on Grant this week, and I'm excited about it, you know? Grant is new to the league, um, and he's dedicated to do better and better all the time. So, I'm about it. He's about it. Let's get into some action. Oop, don't want to bring our sand team. Um, or our other team. Rocking our party team. Perfect. Yeah, I don't want to take our VGC team and destroy all these level 5 mods. That would be terrible. So, I did say last week, or, yeah, last week, that I would have all of my... Okay, so this is who I figured he'd bring. This is the exact team. I did say I'd have all of the sprites. I lied. Um, I've been real busy, and um, I'll get to them eventually. Maybe if Calvin just wants to send them to me, that would be awesome. If he doesn't, that's cool too. We'll, we'll live. So as long as he doesn't lead, even if he does lead, we'll be okay. But uh, we're just hoping he doesn't lead Score Bunny here because everyone else... Um, Kind of gets the job done on this team. This team is very weak to ice. Uh, very weak to ice. Very weak to uh, steel. So, as long as we can get Score Bunny and Duskull out of the way, we should be set. Score Bunny, obviously, the immediate counter is Horfish. Um, Duskull is just Duskull. I mean, it's a slower Pokemon. We usually go faster, so should we should be fine. Taking on old Grant. Really excited about it. Okay, let's see. Who does he lead? Who who is Grant gonna lead here? He's leading Snover. Strange. So we're both leading our our hail. Yeah, cool. We're just gonna be hailed out. Okay, so with that being said, he's probably going to hit me with a grass move here. Um, I think we still try to go for an Aurora Veil and get some protection up. Yeah, so he does hit, hit us with the Giga Drain. It will not kill. Um, that's good. Good to know that it doesn't kill. And then we get our Veil up. And then we might as well hit with a blizzard. Do, 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 do. So he should hit us with another drain, Giga Drain. I would assume. Oh, he's withdrawing. Okay. Going straight into Larvitar. Larvitar is going to take a um, blizzard here. Don't know if that was smart by him. Um... He's kind of dead. It's fine. Um, maybe he's thinking of setting hail later again. I don't. I'm not really sure what he did that for. Uh, maybe for Snower not to take a hit. I'm not really sure. Or because it's he was choiced. He might be choiced into it. We're still gonna hit with another Blizzard, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. So his Giga Drain does kill. He might be choiced into it. He might not now. Because I don't know why he would have taken him out instead of just hitting me twice. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just go into our sweeper. This is it. This is where we are living. Okay, so Snover should not have anything to kill us. If it does, that sucks for me. Um... But at least we'll know that going into the next round. I think we just we just hit him. Yeah, we just hit him. And then he'll bring out... Ooh, he's going to switch into something already. Should have um, Sword Dance. That's okay, though. He's going to hit with an Iron Head. That's going to hurt Score Bunny. Lost some of the HP. There goes the um, Berry Juice. Okay, so he does have Berry Juice on this Mon. The hail is going to at least kill if he did have a sash, but we have Earthquake on our boy San Sandshrew. So this sh this should Oko. 
It does. Now that Score Bunny's gone, um, I'm really thinking that our boy here can can run it. Ooh, the hail has stopped though. See, him leading Snover really wasn't good for me because I have Icy Rock on my Amora. So I needed her to start the hail, not for him to start the hail. So uh, that's fine. Because three more turns would have been really, really good for us. But he still has Snover in the back somewhere. So we'll go ahead and just go straight into... Um, let's see. Yeah, do we want to do that? Let's see, what's, what's he got that would hit us? Duskull? Yeah, we'll just go straight into a... Another mon. We'll go into yeah. We'll go into Zoidberg. Uh, he shouldn't have anything. He might hit us with a Will O' Wisp, but I'd rather um, Corefish take the Will O' Wisp than uh, uh, Big Boy instead of Sandshrew. So, yep, we take the burn there. And that's fine. Uh, we go for our knockoff. Probably not gonna kill now because our um, that burn's gonna be a big thing for us. We did knock off the Eviolite. He's gonna hex us, but with Score Bunny already gone, ooh, and he doesn't really hit that hard. Okay, so with Score Bunny already gone, um, we just kind of power up here, I think. So I don't know if he has anything to kill us. I don't think a hex kills here, so we might as well get at least an attack boost, since our attack is already being cut down by Duskull. So, Duskull is... Ooh, the burn is going to kill, though. Nope, it goes down to one. Perfect. So, um, we do another knockoff. Um, a little bit stronger this time. You think he switches? No, he doesn't switch. I figured he might switch and let the burn kill me, but he did not. And that's fine. He's going to go for an Astonish. That's good. Okay, and down like a sack of potatoes. Okay, um, now we bring in the mascot. Well, I guess technically not the mascot, because Ponyard is my favorite Pokemon on my team. Uh, we bring in Loki the Trickster, aka the Grassy Surge God. You know, it's just coming in, laying waste to everybody and anybody. Uh... I don't want to take a Will-O-Wisp, so I'm going to just get rid of him. Yeah. So, I think it would have killed without the crit anyways. So, we set up our own Grassy Surge. We get back our HP here. And now we're in it. We're in it to win it. Because he still has Snover left. Um, and Fungus. So, hopefully, and Bullaby. So he's probably going to bring out... Oh, he brings out Snover here. That's fine. Um, starts the snow warning for us. So we need to get out. I kind of wish I would have put U-turn on Grookey for this. But that's okay. Um, Snover... Yeah, the, the hail is going to hurt. So, you know what? I think he hits us with a hail here. So we, we go straight into this. He's gonna hit it. Yeah, he's gonna hit us with a blizzard. Sorry, not a hail. That was dumb. A blizzard, and then we shouldn't take very much damage from it because we are ice and um, yeah, ice and steel. We're gonna get back some of our HP that he took, and then now he probably takes Snover out here. Because I don't think Snower has anything to hurt me, so I'm gonna go ahead and just Swords Dance up. Yeah. So I get my Swords Dance up, and he brings out the Loki. Perfect. Okay. So we use our Swords Dance. Keep, keep getting that HP back, and now we Ice Punch. 
I know Volibee's bulky, but with an 18 attack and super effective in the hail, I don't think the crit mattered. I think we would have killed anyways. So, Sub-Zero out here getting KOs just like Mortal Kombat. Come over here! I know that's Scorpion, but um, it's great still. I don't even know what Sub-Zero says. He just freezes stuff. I don't think he actually talks. All right, so he brings out Snover. Um, we just go for an Iron Head here. And then the next Mon that he brings out, we take care of as well. So. All right. Iron Head takes out Snover. Yeah, um, Alolan Sandshrew kind of takes out all of Grant's team. I... Like, well, at least the team he's been bringing, and he did bring it again, so, um, this guy is just a hard counter for his entire team except for Score Bunny. I mean, it, re it really, really is. Um, I don't think an Ice Punch kills here, but since we're, uh, Swords Dance, it still might, and it does. So, down goes Fungus, and we are going into Battle 2. We defeated Grant, or Grant. And going into round two. Woo! Okay, so the strategy worked. Um, I like to see it. Feels good. And we are going to play with the same rules. Okay? Here we go. Alright. A little party action. And then, you know what? Let's do... Let's turn down the music just a little bit in case it's too loud. Because I'm not actually sure if it is or not. And we will do... Random. Because why not? Random music's the best way to go. I should have stuck a battle tower. It does get me a little amped, a little juiced. So, um... He might lead Snover again. And if he does, he does. That's fine. Uh, but we are going to still do the best we can with what we got. And now I have somebody at my door, so I'm going to select my team, and I'm going to check out what it is or who it is, and I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't know who it is. Well, they're gone. So if I hear another doorbell, I might get up. But we are in the middle of recording, people. I should have put a um, live sign on. Shh, be quiet. So he does lead Score Bunny this time. Okay, so Score Bunny, um, the high jump kick's the only thing that really hurts us here. So uh, we get our own snow warning on, and that's fine. It's exactly what we wanted. And then we protect turn one and hope that he comes crashing down on himself. Okay, so we protect... I hope he goes for a high jump kick. Yep, and he comes crashing down. Takes a big, giant damage. Okay, perfect. Score Bunny's buffed by Hail. And then we do, we, we do do it. I think we go for a double protect because even if he kills, he kills. Um, and we do not get it, but that's fine. Here comes the high jump kick, and I avoided it. Ooh, that sucks for him. Argo, be quiet, baby. All right. Well, now we just go for an Aurora Veil because I think he probably switches here um, to bring him in later, or he might just go for the high jump kick anyways. So I don't think I can use it. I probably could have used Protect there, but just in case. Okay, so we'll go for the Roar Veil. Um, and then he's going to go for a high jump kick, and it does land this time. But now we have a Roar Veil up, and um, about five more turns of Sub-Zero here. Okay, so we swap him in. He is fighting type right now, uh, and that's fine. Um, the fighting type does hurt us, but I think if we go for a um, 
iron head here or an ice punch, we get the kill. So here comes an iron head, and it does pick up the KO. Now that Score Bunny's gone, um, we should feast with Sub Zero. So. He's probably going to bring in his uh, Duskull, because that's what I would do. Try to get a Will O Wisp off. Yeah. So he, he does bring in Duskull um, to try to get the Will O Wisp. And with that being said, we go straight into. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go into this because even if it hits, it's not going to be that bad. And he does still have his Snover, so he could set the hail for us again. Okay, goes for the Will O Wisp. It does connect. But we are not a physical attacker, so that does not bother us at all. Okay, so the hail comes out. Hurts both of us. Burn hurts me. And then now we just do toxic spikes and let him hit us. We just set up a layer of toxic spikes. So whatever he brings in is going to get very poisoned. Okay, brings in the hex. We are specially defensive, so that's going to do absolutely nothing. The hail and the burn is eventually going to break us down a little bit, but that's fine. We're going to get two layers of spikes up, and then we will um, pain split and get some of our HP back. Okay, our second layer of toxic spikes. He goes for another hex. We eat those. Okay. Okay. The hail and the burn is going to hurt a little bit. We're going to take his HP and then hit him next time. So uh, we are now going to pain split. Take his HP with our HP and split it right in half. Okay. And then he goes for a hex. Okay. Gets that. The hail has stopped. The burn is going to come in. That means his snover will eventually have to set the... Um, Hail for us again. So right now we go for a Fire Blast. And it does hit pretty hard and gets a burn as well. So we're both going to be burned together. The Hex should kill here, I would think. If not, the burn will. The Hex does kill. Okay. So now he's burnt a burnt up Dust Skull. Um, so we just bring in priority and uh do this yeah okay and then an aqua jet should kill here and then we can um do other stuff with zoidberg from here on out so the aqua jet does kill And then now he's got to decide what he wants to do about um, Zoidberg with who he has left. So he brings in Fungus. And that's completely fine. Fungus probably will have Eviolite, so at least we'll just get rid of Eviolite by knockoff here. Yep. We knock off the Eviolite. Does hit pretty hard. The Giga Drain probably will get back all his HP, if not um, most of it. Yeah, brings back most of it, and that's completely fine. Uh, it's not very effective. At least Aqua Jet is stab. I think we just go for another knockoff, because at least it's a neutral hit here. Um, and we let him pick up the KO. The effect Spore does get a poison off. Nice. Um, here comes the Giga Drain. He will get a, not as much back this time, because I am less HP. So, gets back into the green, which is fair. That's good. Um, and now, with Fungus out there, he can't hurt me. So, we come out here with Sub-Zero, and we set up right on him. Cause he's got four mods left. He's sitting in a, in a good spot, especially, uh, with Volibee left. 
but I think he switches out here, and I don't think Volby has anything to kill me. So this Swords Dance, ooh, but Larvitar is going to be faster. And Larvitar probably has superpower. So what do we do here? Okay, so um, he burned by Flame Orb. Wait. Oh, because Fungus is poison type, so it took away the poison. Good job, Grant. Um, I assume we get a uh, superpower here. So if we're assuming a superpower, we send out the four one fourth resistant to it. He goes for an earthquake. Not gonna do it. So he is burned and he's now earthquaked and he doesn't have superpower. So at least now we know that. Um, now we calm mind and then we kill him next turn. Okay. We set up a calm mind on him. He probably goes for a rock slide or a rock blast. Goes for a crunch. Nice. Good crunch. Not enough to kill. Um, Larvitar does hit pretty hard, though. So, uh, we'll at least do a stored power here. See how much damage we can inflict. And it kills. So, with the two biggest threats to my team, Larvitar and Score Bunny, now out, um, we're kind of in the driver's seat, especially with the Calm Mind off. Uh, we are, like, 18 speed. So I don't know how fast his other mons are, but um, 18 speed is pretty good. Uh, Volibi will be able to um, not take a sword power, but we'll hit him with a heat wave. We are at least two times special attack here, so it's going to do a decent amount of damage. And then we'll let the Brave Bird hit. Okay, Brave Bird hits. He gets recoil. And then he has Snover and Wallaby left. So we'll go ahead and just go straight in to Sub-Zero. And we'll go for a Ice Punch. Oh, he's still got Fungus too. He took out Fungus. Goes for an Ice Punch. And we pick up the KO. Volby is not as fast as I thought it was, so that's good. Um, so we pick up the KO there. Uh, he probably brings out Fungus now, I would assume. Um, brings out Snover, sets the hail for me. Oh, boy. Not a good move, but I guess you gotta try something. Um, and Iron Hood should pick up the KO here. Yeah, picks up the KO on Snover, and then with Fungus, as weak as it is, will not be able to take out Grookey and Sub-Zero. Was a lot better match, Grant. It really was. You thought you did really well for um, the team, for what you had. You put the two Mons that I couldn't leave um, Sub-Zero in on. You brought out Duskull when it needed to be, and that was, a, I mean, it was a great switch in. It's just... I think my team is just a little overpowered um, and matches up with your team really well. Well, especially because my Ice Mons. But good job, Grant. Um, I don't know who you have next week, but I hope you beat them, and I hope I beat Calvin. So I stay undefeated. We're moving on against Calvin. And then after that, we've got Devlin. But we got Calvin coming up on Thursday, so stay tuned for that one. The video is going to come out pretty soon. Um, like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.